issues and stuff that we have in God. Would anybody agree with that? But I was reading in Psalms 138, and it listed out the pages to me. And I often turn to the Psalms when I'm weary, when I'm anxious, uh, when I'm perplexed, when I'm going through things. And in this psalm, I found peace, comfort, and joy. Hallelujah. I found peace, comfort, and joy. And I looked at the third verse. If you follow, if you go with me, I looked at the third verse. And it says, in the day when I cried, thou answered me and strengthened me with strength in my soul. Hallelujah. In the day. So as I read, I felt confident that I must have, I felt the confidence that I must have in the Lord. Not self-confidence, but not confidence in myself, not confidence in my education, my possession, my uh, pension plan, <laughs> my life experiences. But my confidence had to come from above. The psalmist said, he wasn't saying that my faith won't stagger because it will. The faith will stagger at times. But he, and he wasn't saying that the solution was so firm, his resolution was so firm that it wouldn't be moved. David was conveying the fact that his confidence depend on God and God alone. So my first point is, is to depend on God alone. Amen. Depend on God alone. Not mama, not daddy, not grandma and grandpa. That's, that's actually some of our problem. Because, and some of us actually have created the problem. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That we're depending on everybody. We're depending on folk. And we're not depending on God. Our children depend on us so much. Sometimes, after they're 40 years old, they're still depending on us. Oh Lord, I know I'm not gonna give any amen for that. Okay, keep on. But Jesus said in the latter part of John 15 and 5, without me, ye can do nothing. All right, I'm gonna give you the amen all in a minute. All right, come on. God's power is perfected in us when we're weak. God's power is perfected in us when we're weak and we fully depend on Him. Amen. Come on now, somebody. Amen. And the first one was in 2 Corinthians, the 12th and 9th chapter, he said, And He said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I would rather glory in my infirmity that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Yeah. Hallelujah. So my confidence has to be in the Lord. Yeah. And my confidence or my dependence is on anything other than Christ. My confidence is like a bad dream. Huh? It's worse than a dream. Huh? It's turning out to fully uh, it's tantamount to faulty instruction that almost let us off the cliff. Huh? Yeah. Our self-confidence will fail us. Amen. And will cover us with ruin, sorrow, confusion, and grief. You know, uh, let me say this. Someone said to me, someone said to me, um, I was talking about preparing for the word. And I said, you know, I need time, so I've got to prepare for the word. And someone said, well, you've done this before. You don't. I said, I don't know what to do with it if 
You got to stop. <laughs> and if the devil ain't gonna pump me up and tell me I don't got to stop. I don't care what you know, you got to stop, huh? If you don't get up here, you need to stop. If you don't teach somebody something, you need to stop. Amen. So I say, you better, you're not gonna come home like that. The devil, you're not gonna pump my head up and say, I don't know what I've done before. I know what I've done before. That has nothing to do. My experiences, my education has nothing to do with delivering the word of God to God's people. I don't have that kind of confidence. Somebody else might have it, but I don't have that kind of confidence. Hallelujah! That's why it's so important to remember that when you're in those tough spots, when you're in those hard places, when the enemy tries to fuck you up and tell you you got it, say, no, I don't have it. But I know who does have it and who will supply me with it. Come on and give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But listen, let me tell you something. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, oh, glory to God. Glory to God. And some of us say, but God, but God, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, oh, my God. See, when the enemy comes in, like he tried, like somebody said to me, when the enemy comes in, listen, you got to push back. Because the enemy will have you all fucked up and thinking you got something going on. You don't have nothing going on when it comes to God. Hallelujah. You got to lay before the Lord. You got to cry out to the Lord. So I'm dependent on God and God alone. Glory to God. Oh, when the enemy comes in, then he will. He'll try to show you you all that you've accomplished. Huh? And all that you had and all that you've done. Listen. But your experiences doesn't mean a thing. Every time you step before, you, every time you wake up say, today is the day, Lord Jesus. I'm depending on you. Tomorrow, today is the day. I'm depending on you. The next day, today is the day. I'm depending on you. The next day, today is the day. Oh, Lord, 
unto your days, 15 years. 15 years. Don't you know that if he did it for Hezekiah, and if he did it for some of the folks in here that have cleared up diseases, been, they've been delivered from sickness and cancer, been, been told cancer free, that he'll do it for you. Uh, hallelujah. Doesn't the word say, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you? God can do it. So I want you to know that he is a God that hears and answers prayer. Uh, sometimes we pray for family. And we wonder when they're going to turn around. They're going to turn around. You just got to do your part. Amen. Just keep on praying. Just keep on praying. They may be like uh, the people on the cross. And they may have a death transformation. You never know. But we, our job is to continue to pray. And then we, this is kind of what we talked about last night. We push folks away. We say, I'm done. Don't have time for you. you I, I, you've taken me to my limit. But I'm here to tell you that God is a God that does hear and answer our prayer. And did God cut you off? Huh? Did God cut you off? Did God give you a second chance? Did he give you a third chance? Did he give you a fifth chance? Did he give you a hundred chances? Yeah, we can keep on going, right? I know I can't in my life. God is a God that hears and answers our prayer. So we just got to continue to pray. And my last point is, God will fulfill his purpose in you and me. Now this is before I go there. And I just I mentioned it a little bit. But in verse 6 of the Psalms it says, Though the Lord be high, yet we have respect unto the Lord. Though the Lord be high, we have respect. Those are the family members I'm talking about. That's no spread, huh? Because sometimes we think that we are high and they are low, huh? But listen, God is looking at them and he said, what did he say the other part of that was? But the crowd he knoweth afar off. So when you get your head up in the air and say, you ain't got time for this person, you better watch out. Watch out. Somebody ought to say amen. That's all right. You got it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My last point is God will fulfill his purpose in you and me. God will fulfill his purpose in you and me. David was wise and he rested upon the Lord's word. So the last verse in that song said, the Lord will perfect that the Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endure forever, forever. Forsake not the words of thy own hand. His confidence, David's confidence, was in the Lord. My confidence is in the Lord. Is anyone else confident in the Lord? Come on and say, my confidence, my confidence is in the Lord. Oh, no. 
and you know, you have to give all the information to them, and then they say, oh, he came out with his chest all big, with the arms, go, oh, yeah, we got this. <laughs> Because I think you are 
the answer to our prayer. Am I calling you? You, you. Am I calling you? Oh, because I think you can give all the answers to my prayer. I'm calling you because I know that we're two or three. Yeah. Ah! Come on, 
Amen. And know that he's speaking to you with me. If he ever spoke, he was speaking to you this morning. Amen. And we just thank God for a new thanks and that God used him as he is doing.